Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I am well, wanting to bring you um, video swatches of the Coulours de Carol Valentine collection for this year. I did see on Instagram today that she is going to make one more batch of these and then when it's gone, it's gone. So I was really working hard to get this video out for you guys today. This one is called Sweetheart. And it is a gorgeous, kind of like a fuchsia, pinky, purple. It's got holographic fine glitters in there. And it looks like it's got a flash of maybe like magenta glitters or like a, like a fuchsia pink glitter in there. Um, it's really, really pretty. And this one is called Love Story. And this one is a white crelly, and it has a bunch of different size. Looks like metallic red glitters in here. So both of these are gorgeous, and I wanted to share them with you. So let's get started. This one is Love Story. This is a white curly with different um, size and shapes of glitter, which didn't come out on. <laughs> Here we go. So that's the first coat. Okay, so here is the second coat. And I think I just needed to pick up a little bit of thicker coat on my brush to get more um, glitter. And now I'm just going to add a quick dry top coat. And we'll come back when it's all nice and dry. So this is two coats of Love Story. So I've always wanted to stamp a cool design over a Crelly, which I don't really have a lot of Crellies. I actually, I don't even know if I have more than, I have a few Crellies, but anyway, um, so today I thought I would do a Valentine's Day themed stamp and I'm going to go with this image because it's just a really nice outline and I really want the Crelly to come through underneath and this is from Lena's All About Love 1. I'm going to use my um, Sticky Stamper by Queen from Walmart and my Brave Diva on the black stamping polish. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick and easy design. I like to use the black because it's um, such a different color. Okay. There we go. Now I'm just going to top the stamping off with my Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. I really love this stuff. So here is the finished quick and easy Valentine stamping idea for you. And this one is Sweetheart, which is a beautiful kind of like purplish pink, maybe a magenta, and it's got some fine holographic glitter in it. This one is a gorgeous color. Uh, 
um, pretty opaque in that one coat, to tell you the truth. Hmm. But I'm going to stick another coat on it anyway. Okay, so and I will put on the second coat. And this is just a perfect polish. It is so beautiful. And the glitters in it are so gorgeous. And let's see. I'm not sure if you can see the glitter in here. It also looks like it's got some like a reddish or fuchsia pink glitter in it as well because it does have some light lighter flashes in there. Really pretty. I hope hope you guys are seeing it. It's hard to tell through the camera frame. And I'm going to give you guys a bonus. I'm going to give you some nail art, Halloween, or Halloween, Valentine's Day nail art. And I'm going to use For Rhinestones Only by China Glaze. Um, it's a top coat for rhinestones. Okay, so this says, um, For Rhinestones Only was formulated to have a thicker consistency to hold rhinestones so that they stay on until removal. And the directions are apply rhinestones only to um, your polished nails, place stones onto the nail where desired, and seal with one coat of for rhinestones only. Um, I, I purchased this at Ulta, and so far this is the only place I've ever even seen it. So I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else. Okay, so we'll put a coat, this rainstone stuff on. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually not using rhinestones. I'm using um, glitter, heart-shaped glitter, and it's a really pretty hot pink color. I thought it would look stunning in this and rhinestones I mean glitter is a little bit on the thick and chunky side so I thought this would be nice to use on my glitter pieces Okay, so I'm just going to let them dry in there a little bit, and then I'll come back. Okay, so now I'm going to put the same rhinestone top coat over the glitter. And that looks actually pretty good. It pretty, smooths them out really good. Okay, and here's just another quick and easy Valentine idea. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.